welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my go-to spring handbags. So recently, within the past week or so, the weather has really started changing and it's starting to become a lot warmer. We've been going on a lot of walks outside and it's just felt so nice. Don't get me wrong, I don't usually mind the winter months, but I like it when I can at least get outside and walk, and lately it has been so cold and windy that it's not even enjoyable just taking the dog on a walk around the block. So walking outside and feeling the nice weather, it got me inspired to do a video sharing with you the handbags that I'm going to be reaching for for spring. So I have to caveat this by saying you guys know how much I love my black handbags. I have my black Coochie Soho disco, I have my Pochette Matisse, uh, my Chanel Medium Classic Flap, the Wall Unchain. I tend to gravitate towards black handbags. I don't really wear light handbags that much and I want to get away from that. Spring is the time where you're happy and it's warmer and you want to get outside and people wear light colors. So I have a bunch, I have about five bags in my collection that I wanted to share with you that I am going to be reaching for more for spring. I'm going to try to be getting away from my black handbag obsession and reaching more towards these light spring fun colors. And I'm also going to be sharing with you two handbags at the end that I'm kind of thinking of incorporating into my collection for the spring summer months as well. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to hear the spring handbags I'm going to be reaching for, then keep watching. Okay, so because I'm doing a spring video, I wanted to wear this really pretty spring sweatshirt. I mentioned this in my last video that my lovely subscriber, Nicole, she sent me a message on Instagram. She was like, Amber, when I saw this sweatshirt, it made me think of you. And she was right. I picked it up immediately. I got it from Old Navy. I will link it down below. It's really affordable, really soft, great quality, but you know how much I love my Tiffany blue and I could not resist this color. So Nicole, thank you again for sharing that with me. I appreciate it so much. You guys know me too well. Sometimes you know me a little better than myself. So I appreciate that. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get into the handbags that I am going to be reaching for for spring. I'm going to try to get away from my dark handbags and get into some more light, colorful bags. Now, the first bag that I want to mention is a bag that I typically use for travel. However, it does not have to be used for travel. It can be used any way you want. And I'm talking about my Louis Vuitton. This is the Neverfull in the GM size. This is in the Damier Azur. This is a great bag. I have told you multiple multiple times you can fit so much but in the past I've only been reaching for it when I travel I want to get away from that I have my handbags they're in my closet so that I can wear them not so they'll just sit there and I haven't really been traveling anywhere because of everything going on so you know what I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna wear this I think this is a great grab and go bag I mentioned that in my recent uh, best casual bags video I love that you can fit a lot. So let me show you the inside of it. I currently have a Zumoni organizer in it, but the reason these Neverfulls are so good, I've mentioned it before, is because they do come with this extra little pouch. You can use it as a clutch if you travel somewhere. You can use it as like a little makeup bag. I have it's really, really pretty pink interior. I just love this, which makes it a good bang for your buck, I think, if you're like, on the fence about like a Louis Vuitton bag to get that is priced relatively well, definitely consider the Neverfull. It really is a good bag. Like I said, you can fit a lot. I like getting the organizer for a bag like this just because it is such a big bag that things can have a tendency to get lost. So when you have an organizer, you can kind of pack it a little better. But this bag is so cute. I think it's going to be nice for the upcoming spring months. It can fit a lot. So I definitely wanted to mention it. Like I said, because I usually use it for travel, I wanted to branch out a little bit and try to use it a little more. Um, I have mentioned again that I have my eye on the MM size and the Damier Aban with the Rose Ballerine interior. But for now, I do not own that. I just have the GM size and this is beautiful. It's a really light and bright color. Really, really makes me think of the spring months. The next bag that I think is a perfect spring bag, like a perfect spring bag, is this bag right here. So this is the Louis Vuitton Crusette in the Damier Azur. I have mentioned before that this is one of those bags that I don't really reach for it as much as I would like, and I think one of the main reasons is this top handle right here. 
you can see that I have watermarks on it, but I do have a bandeau. It's in the Louis Vuitton from the Escal collection that I put on it. It's really pretty and pink, and it's a really nice spring bag. I do love the fact that um, because it's light and it's bright, and I will insert a couple pictures so you can see how I've worn it before, but the one neat thing about this is it has a top handle, and it's a pretty tall top handle, so it fits comfortably if you wear it on the crook of your arm. It opens like so. Um, it comes with a strap. A strap is not adjustable, but you can wear it as a long shoulder. It once again have an organizer on the inside of it because you do have this beautiful rose ballerine interior. So I would definitely recommend getting an organizer so you can protect it. You don't want to be like me. I mentioned that with my Gucci Soho Disco bag on the inside, I had an open pen and it got all over the bag, which is unfortunate. So I'm really trying to avoid that now. But I have done dedicated videos on this. This is just screams like the perfect spring summer bag. So even though it's not a bag I gravitate towards that much, mainly because of the Vaquetta, I'm really going to try to make myself reach for it because other than the Vaquetta, it's a great bag. I have done a comparison video on this bag. I've done a dedicated video on this. So I would recommend it. A lot of you asked me if I would recommend it and I would. Just be very careful of the Vaquetta for me, when I first got this bag, I made the mistake of not spraying it with Apple Guard. I feel as though if I would have sprayed it with Apple Guard, I'd be a little happier with it, but because I didn't, I do have the rain spots um, here, and you know, it has started to patina, turn that honey color a little bit, which still looks pretty, but it's all up to you, you know, how you want it. But I do love this bag. I love that it's versatile. Carry it as a top handle, crook of your arm, wear it as a crossbody, wear it as a long shoulder. Shorter. So I think this would be a perfect spring bag. Okay, so in the spring months, I feel like everyone has to have a good neutral toned bag. And you know my hunt for the perfect nude shade. I have bought bags, returned them until I found the perfect nude and I found it here with this bag right here. This is the Saint Laurent Lulu in the small size and the silver hardware. This is the perfect beige. It's not too yellow. It's not too orangey. It's just perfect neutral. And I love neutral tones because it matches with a lot of things. And I gravitate towards silver because I do have um, platinum and I do have a tendency to wear a lot more silver jewelry. But this bag is so squishy and plush and um, it has a long strap. So it's nice because for this, you can either wear it as a short shoulder, you can wear it as a long shoulder, and then you can also wear it as a cross body as well. And I will insert pictures so you guys can see that. So you open it up. It's really, really plushy, and it has two compartments here. You've heard me mention between this one and the medium Lulu, which I have done a comparison between those. I do wish they would have just taken out this middle compartment. It makes it so that you can't fit as much in it. If they remove this, I think it would be like a perfect size, but you still can fit a good amount in this bag. But I think the reason I think it would be a good spring bag is strictly because of the color. I mean, how beautiful is this? When I think of spring I think of light and bright and airy colors and this is just so pretty so I'm really really hoping they still have this color I will try to find it and link it down below um YSL is a little weird because when it comes to their colors I'll look at different websites and like different websites will call them different things so it's really hard to pin down the exact one but I can tell you that this one when I purchased it it's in the color poudre and it is just the perfect nude perfect perfect neutral so that's why i wanted to mention it on my spring handbag list all right i have two more bags to share and then i have two bags that i want to mention that i might be adding to my collection the next bag is a more recent purchase within the past couple of months and i really haven't been able to wear it much um and i'm talking about this beauty right here oh this is one of those bags that I just look at it and I'm just like so in love. I love the large envelope bag. You know how much I love my uh, large envelope 
bag in the black size and I actually considered getting it in the beige until this one came available. I got this one from Saks Fifth Avenue. It was on sale way under retail. I want to say I got this for under 2000 which is an amazing deal for this bag in particular but I just love the color. This color in particular is marble pink so you have the quilting here, you have the chevron, you have the silver hardware. On the back you have the back pocket. This is so beautiful but it's something about the Saint Laurent leather. It's so durable. I love it. Had the other envelope bag that is held up really well. You don't really have to baby it that much. The only downfall with this one is I feel as though it is a little bit of a dressy bag and the reason I haven't really been able to wear it much is because I have been working from home but it is just such a beautiful shade of pink and because of that, I definitely want to wear it more in the spring. I think it would look really nice with like a bunch of like spring dresses. So if you're not familiar with the bag, you open it and then it's just one large compartment on the interior. You can wear it as a long shoulder or a short shoulder. I don't really think it looks that great crossbody because it's a little big. I My preference is to wear it as a shorter shoulder bag, but this is just so beautiful. The color is marble pink, but I almost feel like you can get away with it as like a beige bag. I think it's going to match a lot and I really think it's going to go nicely with spring dresses so I had to mention it in this video. Okay, you guys know, you know what bag I'm going to mention as my final spring bag. You have to, come on. As if I haven't talked about this bag enough, okay? And I'm ready to break it out. I have yet to break it out and I'm ready and spring is coming and I'm. you're going to see this a lot and I have to apologize ahead of time. When I post pictures, you're gonna see this bag a lot. And I'm talking about this beauty right here. I picked this up in my 40th birthday haul. I love this color. I am so obsessed. It is the Chanel Mini Rectangular. Um, I did an unboxing video of it. I did a what's in my bag. So make sure to check out that what's in my bag because I show you a lot of different combinations of what fits in this bag because a lot of you were like, well, the Chanel Mini Rectangular, it seems so small. What can you fit? And surprisingly, you can fit all of your essentials. But this is from the Cruise Collection. Actually, let me get the authenticity card so I can tell you this is from the 19C collection and the color is light blue. And let me tell you what the series is on the, and it is a, a 27 series. It is so pretty. And I know with the new collection coming out, they have another Tiffany blue um, that is really, really similar to this. But this is just so stunning. I'm in love. I've talked about how this is like my unicorn bag. It is so beautiful. But I picture it in the spring and summer months wearing it with a white dress or light clothes. I just think it's going to be so pretty. Oh, I'm just so in love. It has um, the little Mona Lisa back pocket. Let me open so I can show you. It's got the silver hardware. But like I said, this one you can't get this one anymore. It's sold out, but Chanel does have a new collection that is out where they do have a similar color, but you can see, let me take the, the chain out. Interior of the bag, oh, it is just so beautiful, and it's even more stunning in person. Like Before I purchased it, I thought to myself, it's so pretty in the picture. Is it going to be the same when I get it? And it's like even better. It is just so beautiful. I've mentioned I have it sitting in my closet, like right in the middle of my closet when, when I walk in there and it just makes me happy. So I can't wait to wear it. So I definitely had to include this bag on the list as the spring bags that I'm going to reach for. I actually think this would be a good bag to wear for Easter. I can picture it now with like a nice white dress. Oh gosh, it would be so pretty. So so I definitely wanted to mention this. Okay, so those are the bags that I currently own in my collection that I'm going to try to make myself branch out and reach for just because a lot of my other bags are really darker and you can still wear dark bags in the spring, but just for me personally, I'm gonna try to branch out, wear lighter, happier colors. But now I wanna mention two bags that I kind of have, not necessarily on my wish list, but kind of on my radar for spring or summer that I might pick up if I find the right one. I'd like to pick up a 
raffia bag or a straw bag and there are two bags that are kind of on my radar there's one by YSL which is really cute it's a camera bag but then I keep telling myself I don't need another camera bag I have the mini Lou camera in the red and then I have uh, the camera bag in the cinnamon and then a black one so I don't know if I need another one but it's such a good bag and they have that in like the straw raffia style and then there is another bag and this is actually going to be a new brand for me it, it's a Prada bag and it is a straw bag and I think it's so cute and you can use it as a tote and I just think it would look so pretty with um, summer outfits but again they are a little pricey so I really really want to put a lot of thought into it before I end up investing in one of those but in the summer months for me personally and the spring I wear a lot of dresses I don't really wear shorts too much I wear a lot of summer dresses because summer dresses I just feel are light and flowy and comfortable and you guys know sometimes shorts they can ride up a little bit they're just not that comfy so I like to gravitate towards dresses and I think these bags would go good with dresses so that's the first one and then the second bag um, I really want to even though I have this beautiful um, marble pink bag it kind of looks a little beige so I would love to invest in another pink bag and you know I've mentioned to you that I have the Gucci super mini Marmont in the pink on my wish list and then I would love to get a Chanel bag in pink but there are so many shades of pink um, I would have to find the right one and Chanel can be a little more pricey so I'll probably lean more towards the Gucci Gucci super mini in the pink but I think that pop of pink would just be like a really nice like spring summer bag so okay, so there you have it guys those are, are the five bags that I'm going to reach for and then those are two other bag categories that I'm thinking of adding for spring I would love to know your thoughts what bags are you going to be reaching for for spring it sounds like things are going to start opening up at least I'm hoping I'm really crossing my fingers that things get back to semi-normal so we can travel and we can go out to dinner with friends and just do more things but I hope all of you are doing well um, all of the bags mentioned today I will try to find them and link them down below if I can't find the exact bags I'll definitely try to link something similar if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well as I mentioned before I try to do a lot of reels over there and kind of um, little uh, summaries of my videos so if you don't get a chance to watch my YouTube video you can kind of see a quick little summary over there so I hope you guys are doing well. Have a good one and I will see you in my next video.